Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to be looking at Vapey, which is basically a voice bot that integrates really well. So it's perfect for developers to go ahead and put together a AI voice bot application. It can also integrate into Twilio. We're going to be looking at how it can do functions as well, and dive into some of the examples as well as probably put together a transcript. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to be looking at Vapi, which is a voice bot. And so the first thing I just want to kind of point out is just do a quick walkthrough of their uh, dashboard where you can uh, actually sign up and get started with a voice bot pretty quickly. All you have to do is uh, click to create a new assistant, and you can even test right here in the browser. But we're actually going to go through uh, setting up a local example of this. And so they have a Next.js template that you can actually get through their resources. So they have all these different uh, ecosystems that you can leverage. We're going to look at the Next.js one, which we've already cloned down, and we'll uh, go ahead and get through a demo here. So the cool thing about this is it has functions. So I'm going to go through straight through the demo and then kind of talk about what's happening. Hi, I'm Paula. Welcome to Broadway Shows. How are you feeling today? Great. That's wonderful to hear. Are you interested in seeing a Broadway show? If yes. so, do you have a specific location and date in mind, or are you open to suggestions? I'd like to see Lion King. The Lion King is a fantastic choice. It's a visually stunning show with incredible music and performances. Do you have a specific date in mind for the show? Or would you like me to suggest some dates for you? Suggest one for me. Great choice. The Lion King on December 15th, 2023 sounds perfect. How many tickets would you like to book for the show? Two. Your tickets for The Lion King on December 15th, 2023 have been successfully booked. Enjoy the show. Awesome. So what you saw there was it was actually going through multiple different functions and changing the display of what we're we're trying to see you can also see here on the right that our transcription was happening in real time so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this transcription and see like how can we actually get this information um, and then how are we act how are they actually using the functions to change the display itself. And so to do that, we're going to take a look at our NPM, uh, our install of their Next.js example, which all you have to do is clone. And we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing to note is how we actually build this uh, Paula Assistant. There's two different ways to do it. You can do it through the dashboard that we looked at or you can actually build a JSON object uh, into what this agent, what is this agent doing? So the first thing is we have our name, we have our model, we're gonna be using our provider of OpenAI. We are going to use uh, the GPT 3.5 model and we have a prompt. The other thing that we should note here is that this provider can be switched. So we can actually use different providers, um, you know, different types of, uh, like Mistral or, or other uh, providers, but we can also use OpenAI compatible models, which is really interesting. So anything that does the same API schema as the chat completion API, uh, we can actually use inside of Vapi, which is super, super powerful. The other piece is this functions piece. This allows you just like the assistant API to actually do a call out to something else. And what's happening is this is called calling a webhook to our system. So it's basically saying, when I hear or when I acknowledge this function, I'm going to go ahead and do a webhook back to my application. And this is one of the most powerful pieces of where the displays are changing. So it's uh, basically saying, OK, I want this function. Then this is a description. And here are the parameters that I want to send. I want to send the string and I want to send the date. And then on the webhook back, it's looking for this particular function. And we'll go into this a, a bit more. 
Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. We also have an upcoming course on white labeling, custom GPT. We're going to have a section on there specifically around voice. So please sign up for that down below. With that, let's get back to it. So if we look at this structure, basically what we have is the, uh, the component. We have our assistant, which is basically just our display and our assistant button. And then we have varying different uh, data and hooks. So the data is just like the shows itself. So this could be like a database. Uh, the hook all, is all the events that uh, are available to us. So if we start looking through this, we have our, the ability to set our messages. We're looking for speech on start and end. And we can actually take these events and actually do things with them. So you'll notice right here, we have our set messages, and we'll come back to this a little bit later. But what's also interesting and really, really cool about uh, VAPI is that you can use multiple different models. So the fact is that you can use OpenAI compatible uh, API. So you can use OpenAI, you could use something from Deep Infra, you could um, use Mistral, anything that's compatible with that same type of schema in order to do this uh, functionality. Then you have this concept of functions, which means that as this is operating, we are able to send information through a webhook to a function call and then actually have that uh, function call operate. So you can see here it's saying, oh, okay, if our function call is a suggested show, then I know that my response is this result. And then based on this result, we can actually send that information back to the front end. And the way we would send it back to the front end is if we look at our display, we're actually taking into account that when the function type, again, is being called here, then we're going to say, oh, OK, we want to change our uh, display. So we have our set status to show. We're sending the message of here is a list of the suggested shows. And then we're looking to display what that is. So if we were going to uh, display the shows, that's our list of all the different types of shows, their image, and the price and title. Then once we select our show, again, we'll be sent uh, a webhook and change our function. And it'll notice, OK, now that I've heard of the show, I want to look at confirm tickets as my function name. And what should I be doing here? And then if I have booked the tickets, I'm actually going through the process of this display happening again, and we're just changing confirm to ticket. So to me, that's really awesome because what's happening is we can now change the display based on the functions that are going back and forth from our call. We can also use these functions or events at the very end in order to do some sort of summarization. And so that's what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go into the hook and actually change how we would take this message and make some other automation. So we can look at like the messages, maybe give a transcript download for the user or um, build out an automation after the fact where we could say on voice call end, go ahead and download the uh, implementation. All right, so to build our transcription, what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull out of the use vapy hook that we were just looking at and actually get the messages. So and get the messages. So now we have our messages that's being loaded from our hook. And then we're actually going to build out this button. So if we look at this button, what we're doing is we're actually just creating an element. We're taking a blob and we are writing everything that we can see uh, based on the role, the transcript itself, so the message, and then the we're making sure that we're only filtering, is this actually a transcript message from our object? 
And then we're just going to download that transcript in uh, TXT format. Again, this is just in case like somebody wanted to actually uh, have a copy of what they built. Or we could even take this transcript and send it through some sort of automation after the fact. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take a quick look at the demo. So uh, if we go ahead and save this, then when we go back, we're going to have our download transcript button. We're going to go ahead and start recording. Hi, I'm Paula. Welcome to Broadway Shows. How are you feeling today? Great. That's wonderful to hear. Are you interested in seeing a Broadway show? If so, do you have a specific location and date in mind? Yeah, I want to see Aladdin uh, in New York. Great choice. You've selected Aladdin in New York. Do you have a specific? So again, we were able to go through that video, but now we want to actually download our transcript. And so in order to see this, what we did is we just clicked our button. It's pulling the messages. It knows everything in the object and then uh, is just writing that to a file. And this is just defining our role. Again, we could actually take this transcript based on the fact that we're using uh, these kind of attributes or almost like tokens and associating the fact that who's speaking and what uh, is the transcript itself. So if we were actually logging user information, we could actually take that information in, and uh, log it in our transcript. The cool thing about all of this is since it's in the hook itself, we can pull this information directly from these events, right? And so we are setting this on the message update. We know what our active transcript is, our active transcript message, which is basically our current message. And then we're actually taking all the messages and we're piping them into an array. All right, everyone, that's it for us today. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. Today, what we covered was specifically a tool called Vapey, which allows you to do a voice bot and has a bunch of different integrations like React Native, Next.js, et cetera. We also built a way to take that information from the call and create a uh, transcript, which we could obviously automate in the future. With that, happy nerding.